Welcome back to Game Craft, everyone. We're here where we, where we started last episode, which is, well, actually, wait, no, did I start up last? No, I ended last episode in the warehouse. Right, right, right. Anyhow, so today's episode is centered around the town and a lot of the buildings around it. So I'm going to get straight into building and I'll explain all about it afterwards. So, I'm not gonna lie, it's been around a month since my last episode came out, and don't worry, I haven't been lacking in progress. And you think, oh, Ethan, you're so slow, you only have two buildings to show for it. Well, number one, I took down my skyscraper, more on that later, but I have a lot of other projects that I also finished up. We have Prismatic, which is, oh, uh, 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> how did that even happen? No one's landing on my building. That's not even, if you're an Elytra Flyer, you're not gonna, I'll have to take that down. But here's Prismatic, and uh, usually it is unstocked because they sell out so fast, people seem to really need my, um, sea, yep, out of stock, my sea lanterns so that they can build really nice buildings. And um, I did this interior floor after I did the build, which you saw. And so right now the building's as good as I want it to be, but later I'll have to make an interior. Now, over here on the other side of town, we do have two other buildings. There seems to be this gap, but we do have two other buildings. One of them is made by Anonymous, which isn't fully open yet. And then we have a head shop made by Ashley and Brandon, and they sell lots of different types of heads that we can come here and buy for a certain amount of diamonds. It's one diamond per head, and they've got a great variety. A new building that popped up in the town is a new wood shop built by Homeless, and it's got a few apartments in the upper stairs. They sell lots of varieties of wood. I guess now Homeless has a home. <laughs> so in all my little snippets from the past areas, you've probably been, um, uh, okay, random, uh, been looking at the new town hall. And I have some news. The town mayor is currently Timmycraft and his rollover month ends at the end of June, of which I hope to contend and become a town mayor as well, because I have a bunch of ideas that I hope would help the town. And he's been designing this town hall for the past month or so, um, and they've done some serious work this weekend on um, the interiors, where his- Oh, um... Uh... <laughs> I think I caused that. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> Someone obviously rigged the rigged the hall for um <laughs> I guess I'm I'm going to try to help out here because that was not that I didn't plan this, okay? This was totally out of the blue. Someone was trying to oh, they were trying to assassinate the mayor. Oh no. Oh, I got to report this. And the last building in the town I'm here to show you is my bank, which I spent a lot of time on. I definitely think I did a pretty good job here on the roof of the bank, giving it different um, radars to show, where, to show where planes can't fly and air vents and stuff like that. Because, you know, sometimes people miss detail in the roofs and it's really important to get everything. One more thing I wanted to add was that the town has some rules. And I mean like 
build infrastructure rules. So every single build in the town must be approved by the mayor and he will select the plots for you. As well as we have a 11 wide road giving five blocks on each side for cars if people want to install cars. And then we have a gutter system draining into um, what's supposed to be a sewer system. I don't know where it went. Oh, here's a, here's a sewer vent. Um, and then a three block sidewalk before every shop just so that people can have these overhangs and different decorational features as well as people maybe even walking on the sidewalk i don't know but as i'm sure you all are wondering what happened to my skyscraper well you see it didn't quite fit the area it was really really tall and i thought it would set the scene for people to build very very tall buildings as well but now it rests in about like 35 shulker boxes and don't worry i will be building it back just not in the same location because i have plans for this location that i think will really bring some fun and creativity to the server so here we are in the industrial district of justin and um he has built a lot of farms which i usually will use to create a lot of my buildings and most of my buildings have been fueled by a bunch of his farms so I just wanted to show you a quick little snippet of a lot of the area he's cleared out using uh, perimeter makers as well as a lot of the farms that he's used just to give him some credit because a lot of my builds would not be possible without his help. Here we are at the end of episode 4 in my uh, location where I currently am storing all my materials and I just wanted to tell you the things to hope to expect from episode 5. I'm going to build an aircraft carrier, a portrait on my face for running for a campaign of next mayor, as well as um, a rocket shop because I have seemed to have an abundance of gunpowder and have a sneaky business tactic involving the bank. As well as this aircraft carrier is a hefty boy. Yes, I'm standing right beside a hundred thousand blocks of stone. That's a lot of stone. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching my video. Bye!